Hello everyone, I'm Elena and I'm Trevor Long and together we are Long, Long Relationships. Relationships. We want to present to you a scenario today, uh, probably a typical communication which occurs at least probably once a week, eh? Oh, at least. Probably more in some households. So there it goes. Honey, I'm sad. Oh, honey, when did you start feeling sad? but I'm feeling so sad. Oh, but was it uh, one o'clock or two o'clock? Oh, honey, I don't know. Well, come on, was the big hand pointing to the twelve and the little hand pointing to the one or the two? Oh, come on, honey, you don't understand me. <laughs> and so that's a classic example of two people communicating. Communicating on a different level and talking in pure logic. And of course, we're not understanding each other, which leads to frustration and leads to upset. And what really is happening when the woman is in an emotive state, when she is feeling high emotion, her door is completely shut to everything and anything else. She wouldn't completely listen. shut to logic. Yeah, that's not that's not emotion. That's yes. not comforting. Yeah. So she would be not listening to logic. She would not be listening to reasoning. Yeah, doesn't matter how correct or how right I was and how good my arguments were. While she while she's feeling bad and she just wants me to acknowledge that she's feeling bad. She's never going to listen to any of my excellent and accurate logic. No matter how perfect his plan is, no matter how excellent the solution he is offering is. Yeah. And women are emotional creatures. Yeah, and she's not going to listen to any of my logic or solutions until I acknowledge, oh honey, that's, how can I help you? How can I support you? Can, yeah. I, can I hug you? Yes, and that's it. Give her a hug. Say, um, I understand, tell me more. And um, yeah, and if you're not quite sure, ask, yeah. how can I make you feel better? But it's all about the feeling first. Yeah. You, as a man, you must seek to understand your woman, even if maybe you don't understand really, but at least if you're trying to understand, then she is going to feel so much better because she just wants to be heard and understood. And it's not very easy to always apply this principle because even the other day when we were finishing up one of the chapters of our book, I had this marvelous idea of what to put there, and Trevor just scratched it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I'd had a long day, that was no excuse. But Elena <laughs> came to me with this, she thought it was a great idea, and I just criticized it straight out of the water, said, There's no way that's going in the book. Um, and she quite rightly felt very, very upset. Because I had an emotional attachment to that marvelous idea. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I did not seek to understand. And later when I'd asked her what's wrong and made her feel better, we talked yes, about sure. it. It was actually quite a reasonable idea. It just needed tweaking slightly in order for it to be able to, to go into the book and fit in with the rest of the, the, the ideas in the book. But you need to adjust the two languages, the two channels in which you communicate. I come from, usually from a channel of emotion, attachment, something deeply moves me, concerns me, and Trevor sees it logically. I come from pure logic. And, and that's the, the typical masculine energy. Yeah, and you know, we don't understand emotion too well, so it's up to us as men it, um, to at least attempt to try and understand what our woman's feeling. And the woman does not want an answer to her problems that she's feeling sad or whatever. She just wants me to acknowledge that she is feeling sad and, yeah. and that she feels supported. Exactly. I want him to support me. And actually, you know what? It's Christmas is coming. Everything is becoming more hectic. I am becoming even more emotional in terms of, gosh, so many things to finish, so many uh, presents to still get ready. Mm -hmm. People, friends Family are coming and over. Family friends yeah. visiting. Um, and it, so it's a very stressful time of year, even though it's a wonderful time of year. It can Beautiful be a very time stressful time of year. Um, and your partner may be getting a little bit upset and it's got absolutely nothing to do with you. But it's important. Probably not. Probably not uh, but it's important for you to, to at least stop and try and understand and make sure she feels supported. Yeah. 
um, and not just stuck in the kitchen preparing turkey while you get drunk watching TV. Yeah. And um, which means guys should raise your awareness, your readiness to be there. Just if you see a sign of the uh, your woman not feeling happy, not mm -hmm. feeling her hundred percent. The easiest thing you can do is say, "Honey, what's wrong? Are you okay?" Yeah. How can I help? Yeah. How can I help? How can I support you? Just something simple like that, and it can work miracles in your relationship. And this will also increase her trust in you that you are there for her, but also that you're perceptive, that you're receptive to to her changes, and and actually that you are there to support her, to back her up, to get her through the difficult times, and and she can always come back to you for just for a hug. She yeah. doesn't need a solution and, every time. And if you shut her down, guys then you know maybe she's not going to come back to you next time when she mm. needs that support and reassurance so watch out for that you want her to be coming to you when she needs that support and reassurance well i think that's a quick tip for today um it's getting close to christmas so we're all getting very busy so we will say thank you for watching thanks for tuning in and wishing you and, um, and elaine along from long, long relationships, relationships. Okay, bye-bye.